Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Welcome back folks. Yep, I'm here again. <laughs> you know, with all that copper stuff going on, I had to think a little bit whether I'm going to use my sketches to make some cute cards together with you. And together with you, I mean, I did clean them up on the computer and made printables out of it. So if you go over to my website, www.beogrop.com, it is a PDF file with four pages. Each page has two images, which gives a total of eight images for as low as five Swiss francs to download in my shop. And you can do with it whatever you want. If you want to sell some cards from it, I'm fine with that. The only thing I wouldn't like if you take those PDFs and sell it as PDFs online. I'm gonna make a little mini series about that. Uh, I'm gonna color in two per session. For today, I'm gonna use watercolors. I do have those are the Jane Davenport. Any watercolors you have on hand would work, and that is. Um, Hold on a second. It's a Paul Rubens metallic, whatever you have. I also have prepared some markers and I also have these stickles. I'm not sure what I'm going to use from these things. Maybe I'm going to use some for the stores. I don't know yet, but I'm certainly going to use watercolors. I have planned some of them to uh, color in with watercolors and some I'm going to do with uh, colored pencils. I don't do so much like alcohol markers, like copics or things, that's just not my thing, but you certainly could do that too, depending on what kind of paper you're using to print on. So talking about paper, what I have used is um, this silver board uh, paper which is uh, a handmade paper off-white they say it's for writing drawing painting and printing even for the inkjet printers so if you have an inkjet printer at home and you want to print your color thingy then you just have to make sure that you use a fixative before you go in with wet media so I did cut it to my A4 size, but the pictures actually are so small that you also can use it on the legal papers. No worries about that. So I'm going to start with those two. And I have my water here and I have like two brushes. Uh, one is uh, a number five and that's a number eight. They are watercolor brushes, of course. And I have sprayed ahead before I started even the camera with some, just with a spray bubble. Now that you see, I have everything up here, but you rather want to see what I do here, I think. And I also have some leftover paper right here to check my colors. So let's see, what do I want? I'm probably going to work uh, on both at the same time. So. I'm going to do the background first on this one. And then now I just drip in a little bit of color, but I actually hmm, think I might go with some metallics too. It's not a watercolor paper, so it reacts a little bit different. I did add a tiny bit of magenta or some red and you get a more muted color. That's what I was doing here. And yeah, that's what I like. Okay. 
Now for the snow, I have, I mean, that's snow for me down there, <laughs> just in case you didn't realize that. I'm gonna use the silver here. And maybe I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the wash white. Just to tone it down a bit, yep. So it's a mixture between white and silver. By the way, I did print mine on a laser printer, so I can go over with wet media with no problem. As I said before, if you have an inkjet printer, just use a fixative beforehand. I have the feeling I want a tint of blue in it. Okay, it is dry. I think um, I know the hat gonna be red, so for the owl itself, I think I'm gonna use some gray brown colors. So this paper is very absorbent. It's not your typical watercolor paper, so it's sometimes hard to make radiations. And maybe I grab a little bit of turquoise. Plastic. Just to give a little bit of variation. And on this side again a little bit. And then I let the paint do its thing. But I want to change here, I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't seem I can lift up the paint. Just want to outline it a little bit nicer. Didn't do such a good job before. <laughs> and that's dry in the meantime, it means I can work on the background. And I have managed to already mess up two clear waters. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit of a blue in the background here. And I wet first the paper. Okay, now for the blue. Okay, now I'm just dipping it in and the Watercolor goes wherever it is wet, helping in some areas. Okay, now I did iron it a little bit. I do have a craft iron, so that's what I have used. And I told you I'm going to use markers. i actually going to outline those things again. You know I like the, the style of illustration, so that's why I do it very often. It's a black uh, acrylic marker that I'm using here. So I did try this... Um, golden acrylic marker it happened to be from Posca and it actually covers up the black from the print which I think is nice Note to myself, don't touch while the glue is still wet. So I have a little bit of a boo-boo. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I have spread a little bit of the glimmer to the background. Oh well, 
Nobody knows if you don't tell them. <laughs> now I'm gonna use um, tape to add the mat. I do buy those cards with the envelopes already prepared so I don't do my own card bases. Find the paper for making the card bases and the envelope at least here in Switzerland is sometimes more expensive than just buying the set. So. So I guess you get the idea. I will mount that off camera and as usual there will be a picture at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.